Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 036 0703 7681198. Email address lsmedia at livingseed.org or visit our website at www.livingseed.org. Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. We have a need to pray this morning. If you remember the sacrifice that Abraham made unto the Lord in Genesis chapter 15, that became a, a landmark in his work with God, where the Lord came down to make a covenant with him and to make a covenant about his descendants and to reveal to him what will happen more than 400 years after Abraham had died. It was at this point that the Lord came to make that covenant with God and concerning even his descendants possessing the land. In Genesis 15, the Lord told him to bring certain animals. I will just tell the story from verse 9 to 11. Genesis 15, 9 to 11. He brought all the animals. He cut them into pieces as the Lord instructed him. He brought all these to, to him, verse 10, and cut them in two down the middle and place each piece opposite each other but he did not cut the beds in two and when the vultures came down on the carcasses Abraham drove them away and then all that happened and then fire came from heaven and consumed that sacrifice now my question is why is it that immediately after Abraham made that covenant with God, why was it that time immediately that vultures came down? Ever before fire came down, vultures came down. The devil is not our friend at all. When he notices that a crucial stage has come in our lives he will quickly want to come and do something to terminate it to destroy it to steal it away and it's important this morning for us to pray that lord help me to keep this covenant this covenant is not meant for vultures this sacrifice of my life is not meant for vultures to pick away I have sacrificed my life to you as a living sacrifice. It is to you, not to vultures. Lord, help me to keep this sacrifice. That's a crucial prayer for us this morning. And we are also going to call on the Lord to take us on from this point. We are going to call on the Lord as Ezra did. In Ezra chapter 8, when the Lord has released them from captivity, as he has released us to, I mean, last night. As he has captured us, he has released us from the captivity of the world system and of the enemy. He has made us his own, his living sacrifice. But now, how do we go on from here? They had to gather together by the river to fast and to pray and say Lord show us the way to go show us the way to go give us direction 
How do I take steps from now henceforth as a living sacrifice? There are still instructions that God will be giving us in this meeting. And beyond this meeting, there are instructions in God's heart for each of our personal lives. We are going to be praying, Lord, don't fail to instruct me. I've never gone this way before. I have yielded my life to you in such a, a new way. Lord, I need instructions. And you will call on him to give you instructions from here. And even as we go away from here. But very crucial for us to put the devil where he belongs. That this sacrifice does not belong to him. It does not involve him. It's not for virtues. The enemy has no portion, no memorial, no inheritance in this matter. Put him where he belongs. Ask the Lord to keep this, this, this sacrifice. Let him keep it secure. Let him remind you day by day. Let him preserve this sacrifice. That is the first issue to pray about. Other issues will come, but it's important that we follow on from where God stopped with us last night. Would you like to stand up to pray? Let's rise to pray. And from the depth of your heart, if you partook of that covenant yesterday, it was a crucial covenant. Will you pray? Lord, it's not for vultures. My sacrifice is not meant for vultures. Keep them away, Lord. Don't allow the vulture to pick up this sacrifice. Oh, don't allow the vulture. Don't allow the vulture. Lord, don't allow the vulture. Ever before the fire came, vultures came down, wanting to pick away the, the, the sacrifice that Abraham made unto God. Ah, Lord, not for vultures. <laughs>
Roba sai kaskara basai. Ori machine bakuri abasai. Iri mosai akasai. Iri masanda puri mosai. Ah Lord, please have mercy. Ita masanda puri abasai kaskara basia. Bo bo puri basai akasai. Ah. sacrifice show me your way Lord what step should I take after now it is when there is a vacuum that the devil takes an advantage when you don't know what step to take after taking such a crucial decision you are going to pray and even if is is you know God is leading you fast even from now and say lord what is the right way for me 
in this matter i've never gone this way before instruct me instruct my life instruct me would you like to pray instruct me oh lord don't leave me in a vacuum don't leave me in a vacuum don't let the enemy take advantage bring instructions oh god what is the right way i have never been this way before lord pray call on the lord to help your life ah let there be light let there be revelation let there be understanding let none of us grow up in darkness oh father Lord, you promised that you will instruct us and teach us the way we should go. You will guide us with your eye. Lord, we pray, instruct us. Instruct me. Don't leave me in a vacuum. Ah, have mercy. Have mercy. Open my ears. Open my eyes. Open my heart. Instruct me, Lord. In the basanda kariba shiba. Roba saya kasai. Kariba sanda kuribo shiba. Rebo saya kasia.
understanding of what that means and because of that God's people grow up in darkness there is a lack of knowledge that has covered the church worldwide so people who peddle strange doctrine they are succeeding unchallenged because of lack of knowledge lack of knowledge of the of the people of god about god himself and about his ways lack of knowledge about what is the plan and purpose of god for our lives lack of the knowledge of the word of god just a little scripture brought us to the point we came last night because the Lord decided in his mercy to unveil his word to us. But today, God's people are languishing in the nations. God's people are perishing in the nations. Not for any other reason, but for lack of knowledge. Most of our problems has arisen out of this. Will you talk about the issue of marriage? Ah, there is a, a great lack of knowledge concerning marriage in the body of Christ. So error is spreading everywhere. There is lack of knowledge about the will of God. So people are succeeding to preach psychology. And it's sounding good to God's people because they don't know the truth. There is lack of knowledge about our inheritance in Christ Jesus. There is lack of knowledge even about the Holy Spirit. You will see people because, because they have not experienced him. They wave it aside as if the Holy Spirit is, is nothing. As if they can arrive on the shores of heaven without the Holy Spirit. 
There is this darkness that has covered the body of Christ, the church in the nations. That is making it difficult for us to walk with God. And when there is lack of knowledge, the experience of God is very scanty. People don't have first-hand experience of God. So they can easily be swayed by Islam, swayed by other wrong teachings, swayed here and there. You are going to raise a cry to heaven concerning the church in the nations. You are going to call on the Lord who promised. He said the knowledge of the glory of God will cover the, the nations as the waters cover the sea. And he promised us as we were entering into this meeting, he said on this mountain, I will prepare a feast of fat things for all peoples. He said, I will take away the face of covering. I will take away the veil that covers all nations. Will you pray this morning that God will take away that veil? Let there be light. Let there be light. The church has groped in darkness for too long. Our inheritance is wasting. Lord, let there be light. Let there be light. Have mercy upon your church, even in Nigeria. Mention your nation. Carry a burden to God about the church in your nation. Lord, let there be light. Enough of wrong doctrine. Lord, let there be light. Mention your people before God. For lack of knowledge, the people languish. Lord, let there be light. Take away the veil. Take away the veil, oh God. The veil of covering. The veil that covers all peoples. Oh, he can pass like a scar, a pass. Father, oh, he must stand up for the Aboshi Baba. He must like a scar. Remember your church. Remember your people. Oh Lord, have mercy. Let there be light. Tear the veil. Shine the light. Deliver the captives. Let there be light, Lord. Oh, you said unto you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom yet your people are in darkness Lord let there be light take away the veil oh marriages are collapsing children are going wayward people don't know how to how to manage their lives because of lack of knowledge they drift in the wilderness of this world for lack of knowledge some die prematurely for lack of knowledge some commit suicide for lack of knowledge even God's people oh father have mercy have mercy upon your church that you died for have mercy upon us have mercy our heart goes to your people our heart bleeds for the church our heart cries for your people who live in darkness lord send the light send the light send the light shine the light, shine the light. let your word increase Pray that the word of God will increase. 
let the revelation of the word of God increase in the body of Christ oh father let there be a hunger hunger for the truth hunger for the revelation of Jesus Christ hunger to know the Lord and to walk in his ways Lord Look at your friends, even your very friends, they are in darkness, even though they are born again, Lord, send the light. knowledge of the truth many false prophets have gone not only into the world but into the church in the church in some nations today pastors are telling people to swallow living snakes live snakes it will, that it will not hurt them I read a story where a pastor in order to demonstrate that God raises the dead, he will lie his congregations down on the altar and he will stand on them, put the pulpit on them, that even if they die, they will be raised up. Of course, some people died and nothing happened. In the church, people volunteer to lie down for that man of God to demonstrate a false power and they have died. Who knows where they are now? In the church, people are deceived to eat grass and say, God has provided manna for his people today. See green grass, it shall be bread for you. And they went and they were eating grass. Lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge, people drink blood, the blood of animals. They are told to drink black currant and that's the blood of Jesus for them. They sprinkle it on their body and they are stained, thinking that something good will happen to them. Lack of knowledge. Will you please plead with God? It is because...
teaching priests have become scarce in the body of Christ. Pray that God will raise teaching priests and sweep away false teachers. Let him make a whip of cords and drive away these money changers that have occupied the pulpit. Let him have mercy upon his church that he paid very dearly for. He paid with his blood. But for lack of knowledge, we are languishing. Lord, raise teaching priests for your church again. Lord, have mercy upon your people. Let your word increase in the church. Lord, pray for the pastors. Pray for the preachers. That there will be a revival among God's, God's servants. Let him revive his servants. That the truth will come out from the pulpit again in our nations. Ah, Lord, help your church. We beg, we plead with you. Our inheritance is waste. Waste it. Wasting. Oh, have mercy. May you raise teaching please for your church in our time. Multiply them, oh God. Drive away money changers from the pulpit. Revive your church in our time. Revive your church, oh Lord. Revive your church, oh Lord. Ah, this is the time of divine visitation let it not waste away without the church being revived have mercy at this set time the set time to favor zion has come don't allow us to waste it send us teaching please oh lord send us men and women like the men of Issachar, who will teach god's people what israel ought to do at the proper time raise for us Men of Isaka, have mercy, we pray. Oh, Parabasanda Kuriabasheba, Yeribo Sanda Kuriabasai, Yirabasanda Kuribosai, Parabasai Kaskuria, revive us, O oh Lord. Revive your works in the midst of the years. In Lord, remember mercy. Visit your church, oh Lord. Visit your church. Visit us in revival again. The nations are crying. Visit us, oh Lord.
Jesus name we pray please I will want us to take just a short moment to raise a cry for the church in the United States of America God over the years has seen the languishing of the church in that nation there is there has been so much backsliding and you know whatever happens to america runs speedily to be copied by other nations when they began to preach any false doctrine other nations will catch it fast because of their media that is crystal clean on our televisions and if there is revival in that nation who knows what will happen to the entire nations of the world now this is the time that God has favored his Zion in America he raised for them a Christian leader as the president and the vice president is not a mean man in the faith and the time is going steadily but the church in that nation is yet to maximize this open door this open door this day that has opened unto them nationally somehow they don't know what to do how to maximize it it is possible to use machine gun to kill cockroaches and achieve nothing will you please pray for America the church particularly that this day that God has opened to them they will maximize it there is a Cyrus that God has raised what are we doing about that in the next few years the time will be up pray because it will affect other nations pray for the church in America that that church will be revived let the Lord do a speedy job in that nation we don't know how God will do it but God will do it we asked him to raise a Cyrus in the nations and God brought that man in the twinkle of an eye please pray Lord let this day not be wasted in America Lord help your church in the United States revive your works revive your works revive your works we plead with you have mercy that nation was founded by God revive your works oh Lord revive your works let the church arise oh Lord to maximize this day that you have opened unto them in your divine agenda oh revive your works oh Lord Sanda kuri boshiba, rebo sai kas kuri boshinda bakuria, rebo sai kas sai kas kuria, mara basanda kuri bosai, iri basuri boshira basa, iri kasuria basanda kuria. Oh, please have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord darkness has lingered in that land they don't know what to do to arise at a time like this Lord have mercy let there be wisdom Lord have mercy raise men of Issachar in that nation that will instruct your people on what Israel ought to do Lord have mercy Lord Lord, we beg you, help Donald Trump to be your Cyrus indeed. Help him to be your Cyrus, to build your church. Help him, we plead with you. Help him to fulfill his destiny. Help him. Oh, help us, we pray. Revive your works. Revive your church. Thank you, Father. Thank you for hearing us. In 
in Jesus name we pray thank you father for hearing our cry this morning you will do beyond our asking and our greatest imagination you are the Lord there is none beside you do it Lord and let your name be glorified in Jesus name we have prayed Amen.